this kind of work is super gratifying for me. Now we're in the, the hard labor of moving the big asphalt around. But somebody's got to do it. <laughs> I really feel like we're making a big difference here. I'd be really happy to have a lot of grass and trees out here. Here at Holy Rosary Church and School in Tacoma, Washington, the entire campus was paved. Every single day, every single day, we have multiple kids come down to the office for Band-Aids because they've scraped their knees. It is just an asphalt jungle. It's not really fun to play soccer on pavement because you fall down a lot and it hurts. If you live in an urban area, you are surrounded by pavement. Roads, parking lots, shopping structures, grayscape all around. Being surrounded by all of this gray is not healthy for our communities, and it's time to rethink. Polluted stormwater runoff is the number one source of pollution in Puget Sound. For the most part, that pollution is a result of our fantastic rain hitting our paved surfaces. That water picks up 14 million tons of pollution and pushes it straight into Puget Sound. In order to improve Puget Sound water quality, we need to think about where we're paving. Look at places that are currently paved and ask the question, does this really need to be pavement? Depave Puget Sound is a regional movement we are on a mission to rethink our urban spaces, to be able to transform them from areas that aren't functioning as a paved area to something that's functioning as an open green space. So we're looking at a 16,000 square foot depaved project that will transform our backyard, as we call it. Over three days, we had 50 volunteers come out and lift pavement, put it into dumpsters to get recycled somewhere else. And today we had probably another 40 or 50 volunteers and we installed 70 trees. This morning when I walked up to the school with my daughters, we were looking at all the volunteers that were here. I was touched. I think that's a great legacy that the kids can be a part of. Kids who have access to nature during the day, those kids will learn better at school, they'll have longer attention spans they're more active and they're breathing cleaner air. We benefit from nature in our cities and towns even in really small ways. A single rain garden or a small grove of trees or pocket parks in our community provide a tremendous amount of benefit. Every community has an opportunity to depave. We can all do something about overly paved areas and that's what depave is all about.